What's up guys? In this video we travel into Gun Barrel, Texas to pick up this $50 Kratos go-kart and we get it running. Let's do this! Alright guys, um... <laughs> We were just perusing Craigslist, as we do, and we found this $600 2000 BMW 323i in Gun Barrel, Texas. And you know, we were just looking through the ad, and at the bottom here we found that he was selling a go-kart with suspension for $80, and he's willing to give it to us for $50. Here's the pictures, the seat's pretty cool looking. Engine, suspension, tires, brakes, it's got everything. So, hopefully this will be a nice it's a piece, project. But it's got a Honda GX uh, 200. All right guys, so we got a two hour drive ahead of us heading out to Gun Barrel, Texas. If that's not foreshadowing of us getting killed on Craigslist, but. So basically the secret to buying a go-kart on Craigslist is you need to look like every day and don't jump too soon to get something that's a little more expensive. Cause this thing's well stored, it has everything we need, Honda engine, and it's, we got it for 50 bucks. There's the go-kart in the back, 50 bucks. Yeah, great deal, the guy said it runs, so. Said it needs a little bit of work on some, the car. It, it's got some rough welds on there, I'll tell you that. There's a master Right now we're just looking things over, seeing what we should get at Tractor Supply. Mostly chain. Maybe a seat, sort of things like that. Go kart in the back, Bucky's up front. The American dream. <laughs> $50 go-kart. So basically before we do a full build on it, we want to get it running and driving. Therefore we can see some of the major issues that we're going to have to overcome. So with that, we need air in the tires and we also need to fix this pull cord and we might have to deal with the steering because it's super hard to turn. But first, let's get some air in these tires. So for 50 bucks, let's see how much jank you can get. Steering wheel's a little rusty, it's a little tetanus. Uh, the seat plate looks like it came off of a pressure washer stand. A lot of this is made of car parts, which is pretty neat. We got the spirit of ecstasy on the front. Then this part looks like they welded bolts. Some of these welds are... Yeah, it looks like it was welded with a car battery. Pretty rough. Back here we got dual shock, the axles. Yeah, so this is act this is like a differential, which is awesome. Like yeah, we can spin one wheel at a time. So that'll be really good for our uh, tire life. Um, another issue that we're gonna have to fix is we're gonna have to go to tractor supply and grab a 40 link. But we're really trying to do like kind of an experiment to see what we can get for 50 bucks, and I don't wanna add too much money into this so I can like Still call it a fifty dollar go kart, right? But a little more jank right yeah, there. Those bolts. This is horrible. I mean, hey, if it works, it works, right? Uh, the dual drum brakes, they they work real well, very well. Uh, the shocks up front are good. These ones are a little flapped out, so there's like no travel. We might want to look on Craigslist for some replacement, but that can wait. Hey, Jason, what you doing? Think uh, starter cord is. Held on with a nut and it's super thin, so we're just gonna replace it with legit starter cord. Yeah, we got that right here, so. Let's get that mm -hmm. on. Plan is just get it running and later we can make it look nice. So here's the cover off, and Joe, we're just taking this off because we kinda kinda we kinda wanna look inside the uh, carb. The gas looks like it's I mean it's not the worst thing in the world if this doesn't run, but I mean, uh, you can't see in there, but it looks like it's multiple layers, like it, it may have water. So that's kind of concerning, but 
I mean, it's just a six and a half horse Honda, so I feel like, I mean, we're pretty good with Predator, so, yeah. But I mean, these welds, oh my God. Camera actually does do these justice. So, <laughs> that's gonna need some attending to, but for now, let's just get it running. Hopefully it won't fall apart. All right, so we missed a bolt right here. And Jason's just working on getting this. So how does this work, man? So I'm just like kind of preloading the spring, I guess. So then it recoils and it'll wind it all up after you tie it in. And then you just go through this hole and then there's another hole here and you just tie a knot and it'll seat right in there. I'll check back when you know that. All right, one bolt's off, so yep, slides off easily. Let's take a gander. Looks pretty clean, honestly. Yeah, I mean. I wonder if the governor's removed. That's weird, because normally on a Predator, when you pull this, your main throttle control would articulate as well. But it doesn't seem to be doing that. We'll see what happens when it starts. Okay, tied the knot up. Starter. Beautiful. Works. So we'll slap that on. And then we also got to figure out what's going on with our throttle linkage here. We'll have to go in the Predator in the backyard and take a look. All right, here's Sad Barracuda temporarily in exile in the backyard. But we'll get back to it, especially after we get this running. But as you can see, okay, look here. See that? When I pull back the throttle, that moves, but on my other engine, it doesn't. So we'll have to take a closer look at the mechanism behind that and see if it'll work. All right, guys, so it turns out the same issue that we have with Barracuda is on this. So we needed a spring to hold back that governor arm. So here, pull it. Yeah, so now, as you can see, we're getting full throttle. And we've obviously learned our lesson because we're on jack stands. So, no garages will be destroyed today. So let's try to let her rip. All right guys, we got some starter fluid in there to see if it'll even do anything. So, let's see what happens. All right guys, well that's all I wanted to see is it kind of start. So now we gotta go get some uh, master links. So what do we do now, Joe? We used to do one of those little spinny YouTube transitions. Oh, all right, all right. And we're back with the master links. So yeah, let's throw those on. It gets a rip in this thing. So we really just need to take off one link right here and then put the master link in for the, between these two. Sweet. All right, so we had this go-kart seat lying around. And it's like, it's a perfect fit. I don't know if we'll use it yet just for the spirit of the $50 go-kart, but I think we will because I don't want, I don't want my butt to fall off from clamoring around in this thing. So maybe we'll do it like that and just sit on it. So it's at, at least we got some uh, squishiness. So now Jason's finagling with this to try to get the master link in. So now I'm just putting the car back on because I think we have it sorted. So while Jason's still working on that chain, we're just gonna try to get this running in the meantime. All right, so gas is on, choke is flipped. Let's see what she'll do. Wait, are you starting it? Yeah. Oh, wait, I guess It's something with the fuel delivery system because it's getting a, uh, what's it called? It's getting, uh, yeah, well, when it, run, it runs on starter fluid, but it won't run on straight gas. So I think we might pull the tank now and try to drain it because it looks like it's full of crap. So we'll work on that. All right, it looks like we just got a couple bolts to lift it. I got gas in here, so we'll just probably drain the tank and restart it. I have no idea how long this isn't sitting, so it might be stopped up too with rust or something. Jason's working on that, so. 
Sweet. All right, so we're yanking off the carb, so let's get this out. I'm gonna have to disconnect this hose. Oh God. Let's try to plug it as best as I can. Okay, let's get a screw and thread it in this. Carb looks pretty clean though. I'll try to clean it out. All right, so now we're just trying to feed this back through here. Get our carb back plugged in. I'm ready to go. So um, with this tray right here, we just need to take out one link, but the problem is we only have these big links that will go from like a like small link to another small link. But we need it to go from a big link to a small link. And they got these little like step down master links, but we only have these. So I'm gonna try and cut this one apart and get these two inside pieces and then bend them and see if that will work. Yeah, we're so. going a little hood on this part, but if it works, it works, right? I mean, we're probably gonna end up replacing this chain anyways, but it'd be nice if we can keep it and we can make it work. So now we're just trying to oh, now we're just trying to take out the carb and clean her up. This jet might be clogged or something. I don't really know. We're just gonna go through it. It looks pretty clean though. It was under here, but it might be clogged. Oh god. Looks like just a thing for the gas. So. I don't know if you can see in there, but carb jet is totally stripped. So, we're going to old reliable. Great. If this ruins it, we're just going to buy another one. Yeah, they're like 13 bucks, so. But man, I'd really like to get driving this thing, but. What the hell is this made out of? It's crazy. I just drilled out the whole carb jet <laughs> until I can put a needle through it, and now it runs. <laughs> so that's the secret. What the hell is the pro what is going on? That's probably, the secret right there. The name we've decided on for this guy is Sputnik. Sputnik has seen some better days. Okay, so I made a homemade. Um, what is it like step some type of step master link this is uh, this is another type of master link so I took two pieces of the, the um, like these pieces on the inside right here punched out the little roller on the inside and bent them so now they fit over it so we have our master link right here and then the little my custom bends and then we're just gonna weld on this end right here and that will be our it'll still be able to detach because we still got this side so then that'll be our uh, right, homemade let's, chain. Let's weld her up. There you go. Oh god. That's mint. That should do it though. Okay, do do another one. This is kind of crucial. But I'd say that's pretty good. That looks. Okay. All right, Jason, what you doing now? I am ashamed. But oh, wow. it should work. Look at that bead we got on that chain. So, actually, one problem I do see is, see how all these have a rollers on them? Yeah. This one's just kind of sitting there. But it shouldn't matter. Oh, whatever. 
So we're gonna start it and see if our clutch is um, uh, shot or not. Yeah, or if our engine I RPM is too high because we just drilled out the carb jet. Okay. Let's find out. We'll drive it though. We're trying to re-adjust the chain. It actually wasn't the part with the, um, it wasn't the welded part that broke. It was just the master link. So we're trying to put that on, but, and we might honestly just like uncontrollably rip this thing around in a parking lot. we like, it was like start it and then go. That is ready. All right. Ready? We got a uh, new clutch. Yeah, we tried to uh, stop the wheels and it just like jerked to a insane, like, it was like bone wrenchingly like, yeah, it needs a new clutch is what I'm trying to say. Ready? Yeah, I don't know how, but it is Christmas miracle. Dude, we're gonna drive this thing tonight. Oh God. Determination, that's all it takes. Yeah, I mean, how do you think? Good old Sputnik guy in the space, you know? Someone's just gotta get in and fly, you know? I'm sure they had to deal with the clutch and the chain first. Get the crowbar. Yeah. And then drill out again. the carb jet. Uh, weld her up, weld the gap. <laughs> Flew right up there. That's what my history book said. I don't really pay attention to history. This thing's an absolute tank though. So um, the alignment, I think it's a number of reasons. First of all, we completely drilled out the carb jet. So it full throttle on this is literally like, I'd say a third throttle on anything else. And then um, this clutch alignment is horrendous. So we need to like- There's a little space around there, so we'll just shave that down. Yeah, we'll just have to grind that down. But yeah, uh, I guess you get what you pay for and Right now in its condition and that speed, I guess that was worth about $50. But um, we're gonna order a $13 carburetor and put that on it. And hopefully what that'll do is that'll give this thing the pep it needs. Um, it may need a torque converter, don't know yet. Um, we'll see if we can get the clutch to work, but I don't know, a torque converter would be nice pushing this giant beast around, so. Yeah, but overall I think it was successful. All right, guys, uh, I think we might have found our problem. That is a clutch for number 35 chain. This is a number, this is a clutch for number 40 chain. Uh, hopefully our chain's okay. Uh, this is not good, but yeah, it's kind of, it's somewhat reassuring because we did actually, uh, it, we, at least we know now that that's like an extremely obvious problem, but. So we might try to change that out, but regardless, it needs a carburetor. It's horrible. So we got a new um, size 40 clutch on, and 
tried to fix up the chain a little bit and we're ready to take it out again. Give it gas. It's mint. It's so fast. <laughs> doing bad. Alright guys, uh, the, the only way we can drive it with the carb set up as is, is with the choke on. So, we're just cruising around for right now. Look at the outside tire. Oh god. Are you recording? It's getting full throttle. So yeah, uh, we'll just enjoy it for now with the with the choke gone. What the hell? It doesn't matter. But yeah, so in the next video we'll start. Uh, we'll tear it down and we'll have the new uh, carb. Oh yeah, runs like a dream. All right, guys. So the bottom line is this thing is not drivable until the uh, until the new carburetor's on. So what we're going to do is we're just going to mess around, drive around, going pretty slow. And uh, we'll probably just drive around that field over there. So yeah, hope you enjoy this footage. We don't want to leave you hanging with no driving footage. And we want to drive it ourselves, but it just doesn't have the, uh, the power to do anything much right now. But it'll be fine. Oh, full speed ahead! <laughs> Oh god, that thing's such a tank though, that's pretty fun. Uh oh. <laughs> I want to do that. 
that sick. So, I mean, this thing has a lot of potential. It's just, especially in the suspension department, it just needs, it just needs a better engine setup. And with that carburetor, we'll actually be able to get full throttle, or get any throttle without the, like, the engine's revving so slowly that it's like barely engaging the clutch. So, that's an issue. But hey, this is a good, this is a good uh, stopping point for this video just cause we're gonna start tearing it apart right after this and start doing a full kind of build on it. So that'd be pretty fun. All right guys, thanks for watching. I think that went pretty well, but we're definitely gonna need to do some more work on this go-kart. Yeah, so if you wanna see the next part of this where we paint it up, get the engine running actually good, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.